Hello everyone, it is time to pick some polishes for another Mystery Manny, but first, look at our adorable little puppy. We adopted him last Sunday from a shelter and we love him so much. He is so absolutely precious. We also have a golden retriever named Daisy and they're so funny together. He just jumps around and wants to play and have all kinds of fun and she just don't have time for it. It is so cute. It reminds me so much of the old Looney Tunes cartoon where the big uh, spike dog is walking down the street and the little yippity puppy is trying to get his attention and what are we going to do Spike? What are we going to do today? I think that is so what they look like. <laughs> he is just a ball of energy and Daisy is just chill as can be. But yeah, his name is Woody, if I didn't say that already, or his name is Woodrow, but we call him Woody. Yeah, he's just absolutely adorable. Love him so much. Okay, so now back to the polishes. So the first one is going to be, oh my gosh, I love this polish. This is Nine Zero's Dragon Fruit Freeze. Oh my god, I love this polish. This is a white curly base, and then there is black shark glitters in there. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I love this polish. Okay, let's see where I'm going to pair with that. And that is going to be, let's go over here. Right here. Ooh. And this is, this does not have a name. I don't know. <laughs> I've searched the bottle and I cannot find a name anywhere. But it is a Nika K polish. I've never even heard of this brand. This is my only Nika K polish, but yeah. So there it is, Nika K, and then we have Nine Zero's Dragon Fruit Freeze. Oh boy, <laughs> look at those. Oh, those are so pretty. Oh, awesome. Okay, so much like last uh, October, I did all of the Mystery Mannies, or yeah, I did. All of the Mystery Mannies for the month of October, I did a uh, Halloween themed Manny. So I think that's what I'm going to do this year too. I just did my very first October uh, Halloween themed Manny using the mystery polishes and I thought it turned out so good. So I'm kind of excited to continue that through the rest of the week or the rest of the month of October using these two polishes. <laughs> oh. oh goodness. All right. Okay. So those are the two polishes I picked. I'll meet you back here. Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> I'll meet you back here with the complete Manny. We'll see what I can come up with. And now taking a closer look at the colors here. First up is that Nikka K No Name Polish. This is a really nice kind of creamy chocolatey brown color. And then Nine Zero's Dragon Fruit Freeze. I love this polish. It is a white curly base and then there are black shark glitters. I'm gonna start this mani off by painting all of my nails with Dragon Fruit Freeze. This is a white curly base. So like all curlies for me, I prefer to do the first coat just as a foundation so I'm really not worried about getting those black shards on my nail just now. Um, I'm, like I said this is just a foundation just getting some polish on the nail to have something for those shards to stick to in the second coat. And now going in for the second coat of Dragon Fruit Freeze, this is where I concentrate more on kind of manipulating those shards and getting them to lay down where I want them to. Now I'm taking that Nikka K No Name Polish and just a clean makeup sponge, just a chunk of it, doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of chunky. And then I'm just lightly sponging this around the edges of my nail.
And now using Born Pretty's black stamping polish and then a stamping plate here. This is by Major Digit and it is plate 12. This is a graveyard scene. So I'm just gonna pick this up and then with a piece of tape, just remove the uh, parts of this design that I don't want to include. What I like to do when I am doing like a longer scene like this, I place half of it on one nail and then if I do it quick enough, I am able to place the second part of it that did not pick up on that first nail and then place it on the second nail. Then I'm just taking the black stamping polish and capping off my edge. Again, using that same stamping plate, I'm gonna pick up this really cool creepy tree. Now, I like this tree but I do not like the crows on the top. So again, with a piece of tape, I'm just gonna remove those. And again, capping my free edge with that black stamping polish. The final design I'll be using from this stamping plate is this awesome Grim Reaper. The whole idea that I had for this Manny was because of the Grim Reaper. I wanted to create a Manny centered around that as the Halloween theme. And I thought these colors were perfect for that. And then a coat of Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat here finishes this Manny off. Now at first, I noticed that my stamp smeared. I did not wait long enough for my stamp to dry on my nail, so it smeared. And at first I was a little frustrated and kind of annoyed, but the more I looked at it, the more I liked it the more I noticed that it kind of reminds me of like a black and white creepy movie. I like it a lot. I'm really digging it. Very, very cool. I'm very happy with this Halloween Manny. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.